Don't use your webcam. We're not doing that. Hi, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caprielle Nessa. For everyone who is new here and for the ones who aren't new, thank you guys for coming back and watching. Today, I am going to teach you guys how to start your own YouTube channel. Yes, we're going to be learning all the goods today. I was an OG using my camera phone back in the day. I used to stack books up on dressers and stuff like that and find natural sunlight in the best spot wherever I could film. That was just like a whole experience there. I kind of got a feel for it. I was using um, cute cut on my phone. Um, I had an iPhone at the time. I was filming off of my iPhone and that is still great quality. Although, you know, you want to start there, you know, you don't have to have all this fancy equipment or anything like that. Like just do what you need to do and everything will fall into place. I am going to be giving you guys 11 tips on how to start your YouTube channel. So first and foremost, we want to start off with our energy. Our energy. Yes. Don't nobody want to be hearing no negative, no crying, no, no, don't nobody care, don't nobody know you. Okay? I mean, like, keep all the, that in, cry on the inside like a winner, um, and just not do that. When you want people to see you, you want to be in good spirits, you want to be able to um, be happy, inviting, and welcoming to your channel. Like, if you're depressed, do not get on camera. It is not recommended. I've been depressed. I know what that feels like. I've had bad energy. I felt like not being on camera, so I don't do it. You know, some people just don't understand that, but like, you know, people feel off of those vibes. And that goes to show that you can't promise number two. Um, no promising schedules. You know, don't go and start yourself on this big journey like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do it. Don't. Life hits you and then that's a wrap. Do not be promising people, oh, I'm gonna be posting Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and then Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, you can't keep the role. I mean, life hits you sometimes, but we don't wanna be promising people videos and content that we cannot provide people if we're not if we can't if if you can't do it all the time it, you know don't do it it's just not a good one number three camera god knows you need a camera don't use your webcam we're not doing it all right um use uh your camera from your phone um i used to use my front camera on my phone and it worked out just fine to start off i used cute cut as i said before then i went to iMovie got a feel for that and then i advanced myself into final cut pro but i feel like those beginner type of apps are really great for starters uh, for beginners uh, will you say um, because it kind of teaches you kind of how to get into bigger programs like Final Cut Pro, Adobe Pro Premiere, uh, you know that type of stuff. When you start, you're gonna learn the basics. If you really work hard towards it, you're gonna know the basics of what to do, how to do it, when it comes into your face because you've been practicing this whole technique the whole time as long as you keep educating your mind in those type of things you'll be just fine um, and the information is all out there this is 2020 and we have all the technology in the world when it comes to phone like uh, camera equipment um, although I did start off with my phone I then did upgrade to a Nikon camera I forgot which one it was but um, I'll probably have that posted down below in the description bar when I 
bought my first camera, I actually got it from a pawn shop. That's kind of like an easy way to get a camera. Um, you know, a DSLR camera is what I wanted and it was one that didn't have one of the little flip screens so I couldn't see myself so it, I had to get this stuff right every single time so I was not even seeing myself but even though that drove me crazy it drove me to work hard and understand a camera I switched from Nikon to Canon and I got a Canon 70D after I've gotten more experience with my camera oh my god a whole nother world of expertise with cameras so I would say Canon is probably the university of all cameras but I, I'm just gonna say that based off of the ones that I've used you know I'm not saying that that was the best one or anything like that but I'm just saying that Canon wow, it, it really laid it on me because I didn't know what to do really so I taught myself I was afraid of even touching it because I didn't know what to do but don't be afraid to do any of that. I say just go for it and act on it. For lighting, eventually you want to upgrade your lighting to, uh, you know, studio lighting. You know, I, I'm gonna tell y'all now, um, I don't have like big studio lights or anything like that. Yeah, I look very vi vibrant and, you know, well lit, you know? Um, but um, to be honest y'all, I have floor lamps. I know y'all got them. So just put a couple of day bulb, daylight bulbs in them and you're good to go. I might also have a ring light from Amazon. I will post that down below if you would like the link to that specific um, ring light. Um, also, if you guys would like to see a video on how I actually prepare for videos, let me know down below and I will do a video for you guys, like a vlog on how I do that. I feel like that would be so much fun. So you guys can kind of get the beginner friendly energy so you would know. Cause a lot of people just be like, okay, so what do you do or prepare for an actual video? That's the better video, I'm gonna do that one. I'm definitely talking to myself out loud on camera. Just so that everybody knows that. When you don't have money for a ring light and studio lighting or whatever, you definitely want to utilize the sun. The sun or if you have, like I said, like you can use the floor lamps, that's like cheap, you know? Like you guys can do that. It's beginner friendly. Make you happen. And you know, that's the benefit. It is nighttime, you guys, and I'm filming at nighttime. Don't let the sun take away your shine. You can get the shine on the inside with some daylight bulbs to save the day. I don't know what that was about, but. Your thumbnails. Thumbnails should be very exciting, very inviting, like, like they need to be scrolling, be like, ooh, I wanna watch that. If you give some dull, boring, and don't try to use like little small font words and stuff like no one's gonna see that like make it stand out make your thumbnail stand out quality 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 there if you don't do anything quality wise do quality there you know because that's where it all starts because it's first impressions and that goes kind of back to your energy like what energy are you putting towards this, <laughs> this photo you know like what okay understand your analytics you need to understand what you're good at where someone caught their eye at you at things that people want to see your type of audience you know if you know you want men and women on your channel like try to uh invite the guys or involve the guys a little bit more into your you know audience your verbiage all that type of stuff goes into your analytics like welcome the guys you know say hey you know i'm sorry this video wasn't for you you know you just the ladies this is for the guys as well you know and this i would say probably this is my video for that <laughs> i'm doing that right now i never really welcomed guys because my channel was always geared towards beauty what's up Constantly do research in your expertise. The things that you love to do or the things that, you know, involve your type of niche, 
you know you definitely want to um understand it make sure you're not putting out false information make sure you're not you know leading people on to some craziness giving them this wild goose chase like be an expert at what you do don't go out here just blabbering out whatever you think blah 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 now there's nothing wrong with testing things all that type of stuff just constantly feed your mind knowledge on what you do always in order for you to grow and in order for you to continue you know making content and getting inspired you definitely need to continue to do your research in the things that you do in order to help your audience grow because no one wants to just stay put we all want to accelerate i sure hope so if you came to this channel we better be all accelerating, you know? <laughs> I'm hoping for the best for most of us, so we all, I hope we're gonna all be accelerating in 2020, baby, okay? You know, cause this is the year. This is so important, very, very, very important because you can't be jumping all over the world with genres and niches and all that type of stuff. Like stay in one lane. Stay one lane if you want to do makeup do makeup you can do beauty anything beauty stylish regards that's where I'm at don't be going over here to cars and going over here to dirt bikes well dirt bikes might be considered but that's just a whole nother left field if you want to do something like that make like two different channels two vlogs two whatever like do what you have to do to keep that separate because your audience is not gonna be wanting to see that like they're coming here for this one specific need from you because you do that good but if you don't they don't want to come see your dirt bike match or whatever or tennis like that's so whole left field like we're not doing it okay understand that okay all right all right understand you need to come up with a name at some point in given time um, I would definitely say something that you know is gonna stay forever. If you know your name is gonna stay forever and nothing's ever gonna change about that, put your name. If you're gonna put something towards, you know, uh, cars or something like that, but you're thinking about changing it over and you're not really sure about what you wanna do about your channel, um, don't name it that because then you have to start all over with a different channel unless that's like your goal. I kind of started off with that because my first channel was Beauty Cap 27. And for some reason, I was just like, not feeling that. Am I really gonna be like loving that later on down life? Like, I was just like, I wonder if my videos are still up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look that, that up. Um, I didn't even keep up with that after so long. I think I might have deleted everything, but uh, I did have a channel. I had like a Valentine video. I had like some reviews done. It was really fun. It taught me some experience before I actually jumped on here to Caprielle Anissa, which is my channel. So I hope you guys like enjoy this channel. We're definitely going to be trying to stay relevant with whatever content that we come out with so my advice is this this is for if you want growth you know you want to see those numbers jump skyrocket stay relevant if morphe came out with a new palette or if you know michael jordan came out with the newest jordans or i don't know what is your thing Whatever is new to your situation, you definitely want to make sure that you buying the newest stuff. That's gonna get you skyrocket numbers because everyone is very interested in this present time that so-and-so had a release, so-and-so and so had a release. Like there's so many different things that you could do right at this moment to buy the newest things. It could be a lip gloss. I know you don't have the money for it, but you might be able to buy something at the bottom of the cart. Make your way up sometimes, you know, uh, in the cart. So, you know, we all got some work to do. And, you know, just staying relevant is so key. I promise you. 
get the hottest things. If you see something on Ulta shelf, I mean, this is like makeup. It's, I know I'm related to everything to makeup, but just understand if you see the newest game come out, like newest video game, or you see like the newest book release, get it, get it, and then talk about it, and then do a video about it. So it's just like contribute that energy into that and watch the numbers grow. Watch the numbers grow. Watch the numbers grow. Being the fact that you are in the YouTube community, you gotta show your fam some love. Don't be just watching videos, clicking like and stuff. Comment, 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 comment. You know, don't be afraid to comment on other people's videos. You know why? Because some people are interested in what you have to say. They might like your thumbnail and make sure your, like, your photo, your profile photo for YouTube is very pleasant. It is related to what you are doing and it looks presentable to the eye you know no one wants to be squinting to make sure it's you or whatever like people need to know people need to know who you are and you need to show them who you are okay so i would just say get active definitely you want to get more than just active on youtube you want to get active on you know all social media accounts because you know that's where a majority of some of the people are because not everybody's on YouTube. I mean, on YouTube. They might be looking at other videos on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook or whatever your social media account. TikTok's very popular now. Can someone in the comments please tell me why is that such a trend right now? Or if you have one, put one down below. Should I start one or no? Would you guys want to see that or no? <laughs> Last but not least, Forget all your insecurities about this video that, you know, if you have to just press record and practice, just practice in front of it and see how the video turns out. You know, we're not perfect, but you know, we can aim, you know, your body kind of gets adjusted to it and the more and more you do it, the less shy you become. And be yourself, you know, like a lot of people get on. I used to be like, hi, you guys, how are you guys doing? And I'm not really like that, you know, I'm like this, this is me, the real Cappy. Like I said, if you need to press record on your phone, talk to yourself in the mirror, like girl, you hide yourself up before a video, get yourself crunk, encourage yourself, get yourself motivated or listen to other people, listen to motivational speakers. Concentrate on what you need to do and then just do it is my last tip. I would like for you guys to give this video a thumbs up. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know what was your favorite part about this video down in the description below. All the items that I may mention will be be will be be will be down below in the description bar as well. And um let me know if you guys are feeling this makeup, you know? It's like supernatural, you know, I've been feeling this supernatural look um, lately like and this makeup look will have you out the door I know this ain't got nothing to do with you guys um, the guys that are watching this video but you know thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you guys later bye